Headley is my favorite band, so I thought that I might um, get this signed because Cages is actually my favorite um, album. At first, I thought it wasn't true, and then I wanted to cry because um, I thought I was never going to hear anything from them again. Honestly, this is my first concert I've ever been to in my whole life, and it's kind of sad to know that it's the only one that I'll get to see for these people for quite a long time. I don't believe any of these allegations or rumors are true, but still, you'd have to let things die down for a bit. But it's still going to be a bit of a uh, disappointment for most of the fans. I made a whole bunch of these in support of the bands. I always stand by them, and I'm really sad to see them go. So. When these allegations against them came to light, I mean, what went through your head when you first heard about them? Just that I'll always be standing by them. I'm not going to, because it's allegations, it's not actually a charge yet. What went through your mind when you heard that they were going on hiatus? Devastated. I'm very sad. I mean, it's, it's my favorite band. I've, I've loved them since high school, and it's been a long time since high school, so and they've helped me through a lot. Because, you know, Twitter's not a court of law, so... <laughs> in the sense of still proving guilty, then, proving guilty. yeah, <laughs> then I'll I'll reevaluate where I stand. But yeah. for now, I stand with them. Okay. It's two tickets for Headley. My daughter bought them months and months ago, and she's refusing to see them. Yeah. Why is that? Because of the allegations towards the band, the band members. Any takers so far? Nobody wants them. I'm going to give them away pretty quick. But I respect Brooklyn's decision of not going, right? I mean, I work with women, you gotta, you can't, you can't do that. I mean, I was brought up like a gentleman, right? There was, I act like a gentleman. <laughs>